let's get some soil Okay guys, so I got here a carbon filter, I cut this in half, so I got this for free from a water filling station, they just throw it away after using it for uh, maybe a couple of months. So what I'm going to do is cut this into six pieces, and we also got here an aluminum, uh, this will be used for the negative rod and we're going to cut this also okay so let's start cutting guys but this time I'm going to use a angle grinder to cut this in six pieces Now that we got six pieces, this time we're going to cut this aluminum into six pieces as well. And the size is okay, 4.5 inches. We got six, six pair. Now we're going to drill a hole here so that the graphite rod from the double A battery can be inserted here, and this will be the positive rod. Just be careful, guys, because this carbon black filter is very brittle. Guys, now we're going to take out the graphite rod inside this uh, old dead battery. And in order to do that, all we need is uh, this kind of tool. Uh, you can also use wire. Just uh, pinch the top. Okay, just like that. There you go. Okay, and just this. And there you go. Now we got a now we're going to glue it using uh, this glue gun to secure. This time we need a copper wire. This will also be our uh, positive rod to be connected here on our uh, carbon block I'm going to strip this
Okay. Now we're going to glue this into the aluminum, but avoid uh, contact. Avoid contact of the aluminum and the copper. Otherwise, it will be shorted. Now we're going to connect wire to the aluminum. See, I make a hole on top of the aluminum. Okay, then secure with glue stick. Okay, now that we got uh, six pieces for uh, each cell, now we're going to uh, connect this graphite rod and this copper wire together. This will be our positive rod and this black wire connected with the aluminum is our negative rod. Just connect this guys using a copper wire. Twist it. Okay, then to the copper wire. Okay, now we have positive and negative terminal. Just like that, guys. Now this uh, soda plastic container will be our uh, container for our project soil battery. All you need to do is just cut here on the line. like that and do the rest or do the same procedure with this pipe plastic bottle okay now that we have a uh, six pieces of container here all we need to do is just put this cell in its container Then we're going to uh, put the soil. Okay, so here is the soil that we uh, get earlier from the backyard. Hey guys now it's time to fill 
our six cell with seawater seawater will be our electrolyte Until the soil become wet. Okay, now that's all, all the soil are wet down below, up to the bottom. Now let's uh, check the voltage up output from one of the cell. So there you go. We got 0.5 volts. Okay. Let's test it one more time. 0.5 volts. Well, that's a good sign. Now all we need to do is connect all the cell in series connection. Let's secure it with tape. This is just an electrical tape. Okay guys, now I connected all the wires in series connection. So series connection means uh, positive to negative, negative to positive, and so on until we get the last two end of wire is open. So this will be our uh, output. This is the negative. I am sorry this is the positive and this is the negative so now let's check the voltage output okay so positive and negative so there you go now we are getting oh and it's climbing up 2 volts 2.2 2.3 2.4 Okay, so we got 2.4. Now let's test it using a LED lamp. Okay, guys, now let's connect this uh, boost converter. The output voltage of this is uh, 5 volts DC. Okay, even if the input is too low, it can boost up the voltage up to 5 volts. So let's connect it, guys. So just connect the this red wire to the positive just positive to positive guys and negative to negative okay see that the red light indicator lit up oops Hey, what happened to you? Let's connect it again. There you go. Now let's uh, connect this USB lamp. This is 5 volts output. There you go, guys. Now you get an emergency uh, lamp during a uh, typhoon or after the typhoon and there's a brownout you can use this uh, overnight even if one week uh, this soil battery will last up to a week of use thank you for watching everyone and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell for more exciting videos and tutorials like this thank you everyone